God to send me a beautiful woman with a little girl. You've been accused of child molestation, right? I Some never girls. had no sexual transition with that little girl at all. You walked by the little girl's school to get a glimpse of her. Because I want to see her. She is six years old! She is still saying that Daddy Kevin touched her! You did it, and you know you did it. You violated her. That means you violated me. You better hope you pass that fuck. I hate you! My daughter hates you! You are sick! The results are Kevin's lie detector test. You better do something to keep that little girl safe. Welcome to the show. My first guest is Tracy. Tracy, why are you here today? I am here to confront my ex-husband for molesting my daughter and stalking me. He's, you, you say he molested your daughter and he's stalking you? Yes, sir. And how old is your daughter? She is six. And when did this happen? That when she was four. And how do you know that he molested her? Because I believe my daughter. So she told you this? Yes, and she still says it to this day. So did she tell you this when she was four years old that she was She molested? didn't confide in front of me. She confided into her grandmother. And she had told her that her daddy, Kevin, had touched her on her vagina in an inappropriate way. So she told her grandmother? Yes. And then this is your mother-in-law? Yes, it's my daughter's deceased father's mom. So your husband passed away. You're raising your daughter. Yep. You start dating another guy? Yes. And while you're married to him, your daughter goes to your deceased boyfriend's mother, yes. her grandmother, and says, I was molested by my stepdad or whatever. What happened is, is that they caught her playing in a closet with, with something on herself, and her grandma set her down and asked her, who taught you that? Who did that to you? Who showed you this? And she, she said, said, Daddy Kevin. That's what she called him, Daddy Kevin. Mm -hmm. The police get involved. They come to your house. And what happens? It was two days before Father's Day of 07, on the 15th of June. They came to my house. They took my ex-husband, at the time who was my husband, to the police department, questioned him. I followed later, and I asked them what's going on with my husband, you know? And they said, well, we got to take you into the room and talk to you. And they told me then that my daughter was saying that he touched her. Did you ever see anything where you said, you know, if that's... He's. Yeah, if he's. Every time during the day, I'd go to work. I was a working mom. He was a stay-at-home dad. She would take a nap and... Why would... i just just curious as being a man, why is he a stay-at-home dad? Because he claimed that he had carpal tunnel and couldn't get a real job. How long did you know this man before you married him? Nine months. Um, so when you say you saw the iffy signs, what were the iffy signs? Him always having to take a nap with her. She always had to be in the bed with him. When... Okay, right there, if you, you saw that and you've only been together nine months and... He's always wanted to nap, but the, don't you say, you know, why don't we wait a little while on that, you know, as a mother? You say, I'm not really comfortable with that. Or did you, did you, <laughs> or did you not feel that way? I didn't feel like that. You thought he's, it's okay. I thought okay. that he was just showing my daughter love, you know, and, trying and to be a and dad. And she's four at this time. She, well, when I had gotten with him, she was two. So the police come, mm -hmm. and they take him away, and they interview him, right? Mm -hmm. Did he get locked up? No. Why not? Because it was just questioning, and they didn't prosecute it. He took a lie detector test. He failed it, or not failed it. He, he wasn't administered the first lie detector test because he admitted he took medicine. So did they make him take another one? They made him take another one about a week later, and he passed it with questionable answers. Like there were some questions that were questionable. So they felt like they didn't have enough evidence to right. charge Right, and him. a four-year-old at that time is an incredible witness because you, they are impressionable. Okay. Do you believe he did this to your daughter? Yeah, I believe he did this to my little girl. And why do you believe he did this? Because she still says to this day that he touched her vagina. So he, she says she's six years old now, and she vividly remembers... He works at a restaurant right now in town where we live and she says I can't go and eat there because that's the bo that's the guy who inappropriately touched me Kevin works there I can't go there so the after the police came and they said they don't have enough to charge him what did you do I kicked him out four days later on the 19th of June I said did you do this to my kid he says no I didn't do this to your daughter 
And? And that was the end of the discussion. Wait a second. I am... Wait, wait, hold on a second. You're married, you, you marry a guy after nine months, right? Yeah. You bring this guy into your house, and the police come to your door and say, we need to investigate this, and your daughter tells you, he touched me where he shouldn't have touched me, and he comes back after a couple days, and you say, did you do this? And he says, no, and that's it? I ask them certain questions. Why does he do this? Why does he do that? Like, why are you cuddling with her so closely? You know, you're not supposed to cuddle with her like that. And he said, well, she's my daughter. I love her, you know, and it's... I was young. How old were you when you got married? When I got married, I was 20. And how old was he? He was 41. <laughs> I pray to God to send me a beautiful woman with a little girl. You've been accused of child molestation, right? I Shakur. never had no sexual transition with that little girl at all. You did it, and you know you did it. You violated her. That means you violated me. Didn't see any problem with a guy being 41 years old, marrying a 20-year-old? No, I didn't. I was young. I was in a state of mind. I just lost my baby's father. How old was know. your baby's father? He was 22 when he passed away. He was 22 when he passed away, and, you just, and then you meet this 41-year-old guy, and, you know... He was I mean, supposed to be everything. What, how is he going to be everything to you? He should be a father figure to you, not a husband. Honestly, when I bluffed him, when this all happened and he broke up, he started dating my friend who was 18. And that's the point I go back to about yes, I making good decisions about relationships. That The men that you bring into your house that are cuddling with your daughter, that are taking naps with your daughter. But see, he wasn't like that in the beginning. You know what? Nine months is not long enough to really know. I mean, it really isn't. <laughs> After he left, you found letters. Yeah. Well, tell me about the letters. These letters were um, written by him while he was on common drug called Speed. And they A were... common drug known as Speed? It's common in every town, every state. It's methamphetamines. He was on it. Was he on it when he was with you? When I first met him and I told him if he wanted to be my friend, he couldn't be on it. Well, and he quit. I, I, I didn't ask you. When, while he any was of the with time me? that he was with you while right. you were married, did he take meth? While I was married with him, yes. Okay. Why didn't you put your foot down then? I mean... <laughs> were you taking meth? Yes, I was. He brought it into my life six months after I was with him. He said, if I got it, would you try it? I was young, I was stupid, and I said yes. You know he's on meth, and you allow him to be the stay-at-home dad. What well, about he was your... the stay-at-home dad. He wasn't on the meth that was before. Oh, okay. It was after that. But, oh, because was... he had a job while he was doing the meth because that's how he supported it. Why did you stay with him? Why would you allow your daughter to stay at home alone with the guy that says he was on meth, you, you see inappropriate cuddling, you see that he's, he's laying in bed with your daughter, where is your judgment? I mean, I don't know. Before the show, everybody, I guess he's coming out. Uh, Brenda, your former boyfriend's, you know, uh, mother's going to come out. You all took lie detector tests. But you know what? Just hearing the things come out of your mouth, I question whether can you go forward and make a decent decision because every decision that you've made has been bad. Sweet. Have you ever made a decision <clears throat> based on your daughter's well-being instead of your own selfish needs? Yes, I have. Really? What? Name me one. My daughter has a good life right now. I After she was supposedly abused, as you said, by a guy that was on meth that you allowed to be alone with. For almost the last year and a half, I've been a good mother. I have done everything my daughter needs. I'm in college. My daughter's in school every day where she needs to be at. She has a healthy environment. She goes to a babysitter that doesn't do any drugs. 
Do you have a boyfriend now? Yes, I do. <sighs> and how long were you with them before you moved them in? Started dating him July 14th, and I moved in somewhere around July 15th. <laughs> no. That's what you told our producers that you I moved didn't in really with actually one day. left. I never moved my stuff in. It was closed. But you basically moved in after one day with the guy. I basically stayed there every night. So, uh, with your daughter? No, my daughter was at her um, grandmother's house for the first month or so because. So you leave your 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 because daughter. Because of Kevin, he stalked me every single day. Oh, it was so a bad it's better to leave your daughter alone so you could be with your new boyfriend and no, check up with him. It wasn't after so one I day. could be with my new boyfriend. It was so my daughter wasn't in town where Kevin was at. Was it nice laying down with this new boyfriend all by yourself without your child? Were you comfortable? Not fully. Not fully, because, no. yeah, maybe your daughter would like mommy to be home and put her to bed, right? Yeah. Maybe not a good idea after one day moving in with the guy. How old is this guy? Do you really have to? Yeah, I really want to know. That, that uh, is something funny? No. I don't find anything it's I heard so far funny. funny. Okay. How old is he? 43. Get your ass out of that chair. And you walk by the little girl's school to get a glimpse of her. Because I want to see her. She is six years old! She is still saying that Daddy Kevin touched her! The results of Kevin's lie detector test. You are sick! Of all the things you tell me, 43 makes you run off stage? You told me to get off the stage. I said, get out of my chair. Okay. You make bad decisions. You do things like that. You don't go home and spend the nights with your daughter instead of with your new boyfriend. Then you don't get to be comfortable on my stage. Because if you don't make your own daughter comfortable, you don't get to be comfortable. Now get back out there. I get mad. You're up here saying that this guy maybe abused your child. You're jumping in and out of bed with 43-year-old, 41-year-old. What the hell do you think these guys want with you? Deep committed relationships? The one I'm with, yes, now. Oh, after one day. You really get to know a guy after one day. I didn't just know him day. after one day. He was my friend for over two years before I started dating him. How about dating a guy that's in your same decade? Yeah, and they're all into all. <laughs> They're all into what? They're all into drugs. They're all into video games. They're not into being a dad. They're not into being there to support me and my daughter. Well, you know what? That's why you be real careful about what you do. You know what? There's other single moms out there in this country. There's plenty of them. And they don't go jumping from bed to bed. It sounds like you want somebody to take care of you. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, what about you raising your daughter? I do raise my daughter every single so what day. So what do you need this guy for, huh? What do you need this guy for? Nothing. What's so great about this new guy, 43 years old? He's my age. He's yeah. dating you. Yeah. You don't see anything wrong with that. No, age is just a number. Whoa. Yeah, disrespectful on top of it. Age is just a number. Mm-hmm. So it's okay. She's only four, right? She's no. She's only six. Age is only a Maturity number. Maturity level. Well, sure, you're not showing any. I hope you're not going to be bringing any children into the world anytime soon. No, I can't have no more kids. You say Kevin's stalking you? Yes. How is he stalking you? I see him at least once a week. He's always walking down the street where my mom lives when I go and visit my mom. He's always walking down my street where I live at now. Ten minutes before I go to pick up my daughter from school, he's seen on the street right by my house. You took a lie detector yes, test before the show, right? Whether you're lying about this. We're going to get to, who is it, Kevin? And then we'll get to Brenda. But right now, I'm going to ask you to leave my stage, and I'll bring you back out. <laughs>
Okay. Let's meet Kevin, who was married to Tracy, and find out what he has to say about this. Let's bring out Kevin. How you doing, Kevin? Pretty good, Steve. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You've been accused of child molestation, right? Yes, I have. So I never let anybody accused of child molestation until we get down to the bottom of things. So you don't mind standing while I talk no, to I you, don't, right? No, I do sir. Okay. <laughs> Kevin, you, you called the show. Yes, I did. Wh and why did you call the show? I needed your help to uh, prove my innocence to people that's still going around saying that I molested this little girl and I never even touched her. Here's this young girl who has a baby, you know, or two, two year old when you met her. Yeah. Her boyfriend dies of a disease. Right. She's such a young girl. Do you think it's really a good idea to get involved in a relationship with this young lady? Wouldn't you advise her as a man to say, you know what, you probably should take some time, raise your daughter, you know, and then at, you know, maybe a year or two from now, then we'll get married. And we really have something in common. I would have, sh I should have said that. Yes, I should have. Why didn't you? And at the time that uh, I prayed to God to send me a beautiful woman with a little girl, you know, or a boy, you know, because you, I was, I was, I can't have children myself. Okay. That, that, that explains. Know? Okay. And then one day I walked into work and right there she was. So setting. you were praying to God, to, you wanted a woman with the child in your life so you could be a father. Yes. So I can be a father figure and a dad. Okay. And uh, when I walked into work, I seen this woman sitting at the picnic table, and she had this yellow glow around her. I thought, I looked up, and I said, is this the woman for me? You know, because she had the glow around her, you know? And Maybe it was the meth. No. I wasn't on meth at the time. <laughs> no. From the pipe, right? Because isn't that what it is? It's the smoking of the meth and the glow. <laughs> yeah. You find that funny? No, I don't find it funny at Were all. Were you a meth head? No, I'm not. Were you? I was. Did you do meth at the time you were married to her? Yes, I did. And why her? did you do that? I had a fallback. You had a fallback. Or why did fell you have a fallback? Wagon. God delivered. That's God true. delivered, right? Yes. So why did you fall back? I don't know. You Just didn't even have to job. work. You you didn't even have to work. She was supporting you. That's according to her story. She said you were a stay-at-home dad because you had carpal tunnel. I worked seven days a week, 16 hours a day, never had time to hardly even sleep. So you, you were at work the whole time you were with her? Yeah. So that's a complete lie. Yeah. Uh, no, until I did catch carpal tunnel. Oh, okay. So I did catch carpal tunnel. And did, you stay, and did you become a stay-at-home dad at that no, point? No, I looked for a job, too, while I stayed I home. didn't ask you that. Yes, I was a stay-at-home dad, basically. There you go, bingo! <laughs> The results are Kevin's lie detector test. She talks about you inappropriately cuddling with her daughter, uh, that you inappropriately were always trying to take naps with her, that you were cuddling with this young girl in bed. You know, wouldn't you say that uh, upon entering this young girl's life at such an early age and you are a stranger, wouldn't you refrain from that type of action until the daughter felt more comfortable, got to know you? Uh, she, she called me Daddy Kevin, and I was like... She's a child. Yeah, but I didn't appropriately cuddle with her. I laid her down for a nap, you know, and sometimes I laid down for a nap. But I didn't appropriately cuddle with her. You never had any sexual attraction I never her. had no sexual transition with that little girl at all. I'll ask you again. You never had any sexual attraction to her? No, no, I'm sorry, I heard it wrong. No, that's fine. No, I never had no attraction with that little girl at all. When's the last time you, you did drugs? Uh, I smoked a joint Friday. Friday? Yeah. <laughs> When's the last time you did meth? Oh, it's been probably a year or better. We, we did give you a drug test, right? Yes, you did. And what, the, what did the results come back? I, nobody never told me. They, they came back that you just came back for pot, so maybe you're telling the truth about the meth. Yeah. 
Still not very good, right? No, it's not very good. It's not a very good drug to be on, and I got addicted to it. You know. But I'm saying even smoking pot. You know, at yeah, this stage no, of life. Yeah, no, no, yeah. At the stage of my life, yeah, I'm. I'm. Still, should be past I'm giving that, right? that up too. You know. When? Next Friday. <laughs> All right. Seriously. I'll give it up right now. Okay. I will. And again, I want to go back to why did you fall back to using meth? You got what you asked for. You said, you asked God, I want a beautiful woman, which she is a beautiful woman, and, uh, and uh, uh, a woman with a child because I can't have children, and I want to be a dad. So you get this beautiful young girl, half your age, with a daughter. You get everything that you wanted that you, you say you asked God for. And I want to know what, how, what made you fall back on meth. Just there was too many people that was around with it and kept coming to my house with it, and I... Didn't you say, I'm not opening the door, go away, meth? I mean, I, yes, I should have. You get everything you want. You are supposed to be, when you become a husband and a father, you become a protector. Well, where, how are you exactly protecting it when you're allowing people with meth to come to your house and bring drugs and then you do them? How is that being a father... How is that being a good husband? How is that being a protector of your family? That's not very good. So you say you didn't molest this girl, right? No, I did not. Why do you think that they're saying this? I'm trying to figure that out myself. Did you, did you ever ask them why are you yeah. saying this? I, when, me, when this accusation came down, I was supposed to move out of the house so her daughter can come back. I move out of the house. I've got, me and my wife are still keeping contact with each other. She calls me up, says, is home, you want to speak to her? And I said, well, won't you, ask her, won't you ask her who's been telling her to say this stuff about me? What did she say? I heard in the background saying that uh, grandma told me to say that stuff about daddy Kevin, Brenda. And do you know this Brenda? I know her, yes. Have you met her? Yes. And would there be any reason that she would say this? I wouldn't know why Brenda hates me. Well, I could give you one reason. <laughs> if that was my granddaughter and I knew my daughter was with the man doing meth, I might make up stories to get that man out of the house. Yeah. So why do you think they would tell this little girl to say this? Because I believe my ex-wife wanted something a little better. And so she... Uh, Better than you? Better than me. So and she made this story up. She couldn't just say, I'm done with you? Yeah. I can't I can explain it. You know, I don't know why she made it. If it's her Let me ask or you if something. it's somebody else. Do you, did you want to break up with her? No, I didn't want to break up you with her. You wanted to stay with her? Yes, I did. Do you stalk Tracy? No, I do not. Do you want her back? I do, kind of. Yes, I do. So you would love to get back and have your relationship with I would her. love to have my family back. Yes, I would. Do you go around hoping to catch to see her? I go. I, walk, I don't walk intentionally by some place, you know. Okay, listen. Stop BSing me right here, okay? I just want the truth. Okay. If you love her I and do. you want to catch a glimpse of her, yes. just say, Steve, yes. I walked by, I wanted to see the woman that I want to be back with. Just be honest with me, damn it. All right. That's... Do you walk by hoping to catch a glimpse of Tracy? Yes. Do you walk, you told our producers you walk by their house and you walk by the little girl's school to get a glimpse of her? Yes. Why? Because I want to see her too, because I love her. But you've been accused of molesting a child. Do you really think it's a good idea that you're walking by her school? I've only walked by her school like twice, and that was it. And I ain't never been down there since. You better hope you pass the polygraph. <laughs> you better do something to keep that little girl safe. What would you like to happen on this show? What if, if everything in your mind, if you could wish, if I could give you three wishes, what would they be? What would you want to happen on this show? 
for my ex-wife to believe that I didn't do nothing to her daughter. And what else? And to make men's and, prob and get back together. You'd like to get back together? Yes. We're going to bring out the little girl's grandma. Yes. Let's bring her out. Her name's Brenda. Kevin, I'm going to look you right in the eye, and I am going to tell you that I hate what you did to my granddaughter. I feel it in my heart that you've done that. You violated her. That means you violated me. And until they can prove that you're innocent, you're nothing but scum. And God help you if you did. And you lied. You didn't get with Tracy when Stephen died. He was with her. He took her to work every night. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? You took his child away from him. I did not take his child from you him. You took his girlfriend and his child. She left him. Yeah, because of you. And you're nothing but You did it, and you know you did it. You know you did it. You sick son of a bitch. I know. You better hope you pass that polygraph down. You better hope. I already done pass the first one. Because of drugs, how many Xanaxes and meth or whatever it is that you frickin' do. All right. All right. You, set, you stand up here and you laugh about everything he asked or whatever. You make me sick. You make me frickin' sick. You make me sick. I can't even stand to look at you. Is Brenda, have, have, have a seat. Oh, it, it's true, though, you did take drugs to pass the lie detector test. No. Or you were on drugs at the time. There. You were on drugs at the time. Yes, I was. Okay, that's all you need to say. So that lie detector test means nothing. And you took a lie detector test yes, before the show, I, too? No, I've never taken one until today. You took, but I'm saying, you took one today. Yes. We're going to get to the results. But I, I want to ask you, it had to be really tough losing your son. Yes, it was. It probably hurt you really bad that this older man, as you say, stole your, your, your granddaughter and her mother away from your son. That must have really hurt you. Yes, it did. Did you coach your granddaughter to say this? No, I did not. And you were asked this on the... Yes, I was asked. Test. You know, it's interesting. Did you steal Tracy away from her son? Did you take her away while they were still together? No, I did not. They were already broken up and then you started? No, Tracy was hitting on me at work at the medic and playing footsie. They'd, her and her boyfriend would come to work, come to my house, sit there and play cards and stuff, and I'll fix them something to eat because their little girl was hungry. I'll fix the little girl something to eat, and she's underneath the table using her foot on top of my foot like that. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Did you ever make amends with Stephen before he died? Yeah, I did. And, and he how did trusted you. you. How, did, how did you do that? I told him that I was sorry about ruining his life, and he can come over and get any time he wants to. And Well, yeah, that's easy to say to a dying man, right? <laughs> well, at the time, I didn't know he was dying. You did know that he was dying. You knew that his kidney was felling him again after his first transplant. That's why he had to go back on dialysis. And when he would go to dialysis, he would come home and find Tracy moved out and moved in with you. But I'll tell you one thing, your little wish she about getting back there. with her might happen, but you're not going to be around my granddaughter because I have grandparents, right? And I will take you to court and I will fight you all the way. The results of Kevin's lie detector test. You are sick! He I wasn't bitter that you stole his girlfriend? No. He's, his, his daughter now is with you? No, he wasn't bitter about that. Well, let's find out. Let's bring Tracy back out. You knew take, take he was dying. Take the chair off. 
You knew it. He asked you to take care of his kid, Kevin. He asked you to raise her properly. I not did not molest no, her. No, I did not molest yes. her. Why the hell is my daughter still saying you touched her? Why? She is six years old. But you probably told him that. No. Yeah, you did. No. Who are you going to yeah, believe? You did. Some 43-year-old guy or some four-year-old little girl? Well, a four-year-old little test. girl who doesn't even know how to lie yet. You knew I passed the first polygraph test, Oh, because Tracy. you took uh, Xanax, you were on coke at house. Um, let's see, you were probably still doing speed. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay, son of a Duh. Okay, let's, let's, let's get the cards on the table right now, though. Nothing affected this lie detector test, did it? No. Okay, we wanted an accurate result, so we drug tested Kevin three times last night, this morning before the test. And again, after the test, he passed. Tracy, you were also given a drug test. Yes, I was. And you, were, you passed. So let's get it out in the open before we get to the results. You'll stand by the results? Yes, I will. No. Oh, maybe I did do meth last night. I forgot. Or maybe I was tired. Or I didn't eat a bologna sandwich. No excuses, right? No excuses. You? No excuses. No excuses. No, I was tired. None. They didn't feed me. No. Nope. I had to get up and get my makeup on. No. Nope. And Brenda also took a lie detector test? Yes, I did. And Brenda, you'll make no excuses with, with the results of your test, right? No, I will not. No reason, no lack of sleep deprivation, no. nothing like that? No. Okay. We're going to do Brenda's first. Brenda, did your granddaughter ever tell you that Kevin touched her inappropriately and you answered yes you were asked did you ever encourage your granddaughter to say that Kevin sexually molested her <clears throat> and you answered no and the results of Brenda's lie detector test is that she's told the truth Thank you. <laughs> Nobody's making hold it on up. hold on Who, whose results would you like to hear next So we're going to give you Kevin's. <laughs> the results of Kevin's lie detector test. You were asked, did you ever touch Tracy's daughter in an inappropriate manner for your own sexual gratification? You answered no. You were asked specific sexual questions regarding the molestation that I'm not going to repeat, but you, not, you denied doing these things. And the results of one and two, the first two questions, is that Kevin told the truth. Uh -uh. He was also... He was also asked, since the breakup, have you intentionally followed Tracy or destroyed any of her personal property? The answer, you said no. You did not tell the truth, but you did tell the, he did tell the truth on stage. You admitted to me that you did go. You wanted to see her. So you did not molest this child. And he passed the lie detector test results. Why does my daughter results. still say it? I don't know why she still says it. But maybe we should get to your results. Okay. I'm really glad you didn't do it, too. I knew I didn't do it. But you need to start making wise decisions about a lot of other things in your life. Believe me, I will. Results for Tracy. Did you ever tell your daughter to fabricate a story that Kevin touched her inappropriately? You answered no. Did you have any prior knowledge of Kevin sexually abusing your daughter before the cops came to your home? You answered no. Did you have any type of sexual contact with your daughter? You answered no. And on those questions, you have told the truth. But there's always more. You were asked one final question. Did you ever tell your daughter how to touch herself? And you answered, no. And on that question, you did not tell the truth. What are you talking about? 
trace. What am I talking now about? Now I know who really What did are it. you talking about? How do you feel now? When my daughter was you two years like old, that? when I got with him. Why did you tell your daughter how to tell her I how to touch herself? I didn't tell her how to touch herself. I told her that she can only touch herself in her bedroom by herself with nobody else in there because <coughs> she plays with herself. Go to the doctor and ask the doctor how to go about there you this. you all go. What the doctor right said. Shut up. Just keep going. Keep what talking. What the doctor said was is to not discourage her playing with herself and not to encourage her playing with herself. This is a two-year-old daughter we're talking about. She was four and a half when I took her to the doctor and asked him these questions. The doctor said it's natural you for know a what? child. You know what? You are a liar. You are a liar. Do you believe anybody? Did you hear the reaction? Who thinks... You tell your daughter to touch herself and do it in her bedroom. I didn't tell you her are to touch sick. herself. You are sick. I didn't tell her to touch herself. You are sick. As bad as this guy is, your son made one bad choice, Brenda. Let me tell you that. You made nothing but bad choice after bad choice. But at least you didn't molest the little girl. That's right. But you can get off my stage now. <laughs> and for you, the rage that I feel right now, I could just love let you talk. Because you would just hang yourself even more and more and more. Please help that woman, Mike. Ma'am, ma'am. You have a lot more worrying to do. You sick mother. That meth probably ate a little too much into your brain. I ain't done meth in over two years. I don't give a damn how long it's been. It certainly clouded your judgment, and it's still to this day. You may, you tell your daughter for yourself. No. You are sick. Get off my stage. <laughs> God, Tracy, Come I see you, trusted you, Tracy, Tracy, honey, I trusted you, I trusted you, honey, I trusted you not to do that to my baby. Do you want to talk to Tracy? Sorry, Stephen, yeah. Bring Tracy over here. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Tracy, honey, why? Why, honey, why? I didn't do it. But they said that you lied. You Brenda. Lied. You heard what you she said on that stage honey. yourself. Why? Brenda, I didn't lie. It said that you lied, honey. I told her to do it in a room by herself with nobody around. It, it, You're talking about a four-year-old. She's six now. Yeah, but at the time you did it, and she was four years old. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I followed directions from the doctor. What doctor are you going to? Oh. You are so out of your mind. You no. need help. You need to see a doctor. I do see a doctor. You better keep seeing him, sister. You know what, Brenda? You better be tougher than this right now. You better be tougher than that for your that little girl, your granddaughter. You hear her say that? I'm outraged. You better do something to keep that little girl safe because she's not safe with you. Yes, she is. She's not safe with the judgments you make. She's My not safe. Is safe. I see the judgment that you have in men. Yes. I see you being with 40 year old men that do meth and you leave your daughter alone with them. And then you instruct your daughter on how to touch herself. I do not. I have no more use for you. Oh. I don't care if Brenda wants to talk to you. Walk the shade down my hallway. Oh my